significant figures in multiplication and division. In this video, we will be learning how to properly round calculated answers after multiplication and division problems. This is one video in a series of videos about significant figures. I am assuming that you already know what significant figures are and why they're important, and I'm assuming that you already know how to look at a number and determine how many significant figures are in it. If you know those two things, go ahead and watch this video. If not, I recommend watching my previous videos in this series first. The first thing you need to know is that there are different significant figures rules depending on the mathematical operation. So there is a rule for multiplication and division, a rule for addition and subtraction, a rule for logarithms, and so on. This video is specifically significant figure rules for multiplication and division. But our rule is in multiplication and division, the answer should have the same number of significant figures as the original number with the fewest significant figures. Let's do an example problem. We are going to calculate a gas mileage. 351 miles divided by 11.70 gallons. If you type this into your calculator, the answer that a calculator would give you is 30. 30 miles per gallon. There is a major problem with this number. Your calculator does not care about significant figures. Your calculator is assuming the original numbers that you gave it just have infinite significant figures, and it gives you a number without regard to significant figures. The goal of this video is to teach you how to round that number. Sometimes you need to add more digits, generally zeros. Other times you need to round and get digits off the end. But we need to determine how many significant figures are in each of these starting numbers. 351 has three significant figures. 11.70 has four significant figures. Our rule was that our answer should have the same number of significant figures as whichever original number had the fewest significant figures. So 3 versus 4. We need to pick which of these numbers is the lowest. That is 3. Our answer, 30 miles per gallon, this needs to be rewritten to have three significant figures. The correct answer for gas mileage is 30 point zero miles per gallon. Let's do some practice problems. I have three math problems here involving multiplication or division. And in the next column, I have the answers that a calculator would give you. Now remember what I said earlier. Your calculator assumes that these starting numbers have an infinite number of significant figures. They don't. These numbers are wrong for that reason. We need to determine how many significant figures should be in each of these calculated answers and round them properly so that we can determine our correct answers. So let's look at problem A. Let's determine how many significant figures are in each of these two numbers. 2.8 times 4.5039. 2.8, this has two significant figures, 4.5039. All of these digits are significant, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This has five significant figures. Whichever of these numbers is the lowest is how many significant figures the answer should have. Your answer should have two significant figures. So the 1 and the 2 are significant. So we need to round our answer so that it has two significant figures. 12.6, this rounds up. So our correct answer is 13. Now let's look at problem B. 1.87 times 10 to the minus 23rd times 4.5. So 1.87 times 10 to the minus 23rd. Our rule in scientific notation is that all of the digits in the coefficient, this first part of the number, are significant. So this has three significant figures. 
4.5, both of these digits are significant. We have two significant figures. 3 versus 2. Which of these two numbers is lowest? 2 is the lowest. Our answer should only have two significant figures. The 8 and the 4 are both significant. So we need to round our answer to 8.4 times 10 to the minus 23. Problem C. 5.7608 times 10 to the 10th power divided by 2.10 times 10 to the 3rd power. So 5.7608. All of these digits are significant. Let's count how many digits there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have one value with five significant figures. And our denominator, 2.10, is the coefficient. Digits in the coefficient are always significant, so we have one, two, three, three significant figures. Our two original numbers have five and three significant figures. The lower of those two numbers is three. Our answer needs to have three significant figures. One, two, three. So our proper answer would be 2.74 times 10 to the seventh power. Thanks for watching Chemistry in a Nutshell. If you feel that I've earned it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.